And so all of you just finished your student uh, presentation, uh, the end of the year capstone presentation. How are you feeling? I'm not going to lie. It, I was like, I was expecting a lot of work, but I definitely was not expecting um, like the all nighters, the um, <laughs> multiple calls with mentors, getting angry with other people just for the simple fact that they're not trying to give me information because I'm a student. You know, it's, it, I'm not gonna lie, it was a slightly difficult process, but you know, now that I actually finished, it's, I will say it's rewarding. And I learned some more, I learned some information of something that I did not know in like seven months ago. Every day it was like learning something new. Every day was something different. And not only between all of us and the teams, like, like I said, when we would collaborate, um, but with from, you know, Jeff, from you and our mentors as well, they would add in your guys's knowledge and your experience. And then it would just be like, OK, then how do we incorporate this? How do we change this? And it was just it was a really great mix of just education and experience and teaching and learning and growing. Great. Do you guys think this will be useful? Um, was it a useful experience, do you think, as you consider careers and moving forward and starting your professional lives? I think it's very eye-opening per se. It kind of real. It kind of makes you realize um, how much there is in the, not only just like the engineering the realm, but the STEM realm in general. So it's like it's endless possibility. So I think this is a forever growing industry. So I definitely think this is helpful, and I definitely see myself eventually, you know, taking in a career along this path. Well, I can speak on behalf of um, the architecture team. I had no idea that. This would entail so much work. <laughs> this entire project felt like an additional studio. The takeaway from it, though, is that we were introduced to a whole different concept of thinking with regards to how a data center functions and the design here that goes into creating a data center. So that was definite education on our part. But again, the process was tedious. So I would say this could possibly be the first time many had um, collaborated across departments. I guess I would let them say that if that is the case. But mm -hmm. I would say it was really good because when it does come to like careers within engineering or architecture, nine times out of 10, you're going to be working with one or the other. So this was good practice to just put into play what we could possibly see in the future. And then for me, I would say I'd let the Lord lead my path. So I had applied to graduate school and that didn't necessarily work out. But the very next day I got like a decline letter, I guess. Um, I got a call for like an interview and I received that job. So I would just say throughout this experience, I was able to leave with the job that I'll actually be happier in versus graduate school. So. I would say it was well worth it and I'm a happy camper. And I wanna add on to what um, Jason and Jai said and everybody else, the collaboration between departments definitely was new to us um, because I know for me, you know, I haven't had to really collaborate with the engineering department before. Um, and I started in 2017. So, I mean, I've been to the building but never really, you know, knew anybody in that department <laughs> so this kind of bridges you know the gap um and i think you know everybody can take away from communicating with each other yeah you know because you know for architects you know future architects we're going to have to be able to communicate with everybody and everybody right. has to learn also that we're not better than you or you or you you know we have to work together because there's a lot of schools out there that don't teach that camaraderie um, to their students. They teach their students, this is it, this is it, we're the best, you know, so on and so forth. Because, you know, I've collaborated with another school that uh, I don't see that happening, which is sad. That is one positive about um, Hampton is that we try to integrate, you know, multiple disciplines into our, you know, degrees like architecture and you know, um, engineering because we're the ones that work most with different um, programs and different disciplines, not even just in the STEM area, but in, you know, in marketing and, and so much further. Um, and yes. that we've just done really good 
and collaborating. And like, it was a little hard at first because, you know, we're forced to do something new, something awkward. And I just seen all of us grow. And I think this was a great positive thing. I just want to yeah. say a great job, everybody. I just want to say thank you. I feel that before this whole uh, program, I didn't know anything about data centers. And I feel that uh, the architecture department, along with the engineers, we grew up together until the final um, result. So I really, I really appreciate that. And that connection that we had with the mentors too, that really um, helped us be better in the future. Um, so I really appreciate that. What related to WCE have you learned? Since I am an electrical engineer major, um, my main assignment was uh, working with anything in regards to power. So um, one thing that I did learn during this capstone was the the one line diagram, the power distribution schematic. Um, the first time I ever done anything uh, outside of having to build the circuit. Um, so uh, that was that was fairly new um, to me, and I know um, Kiatri as well. Um, so from the other team, we were working like hand in hand with uh, meeting with our mentors on power distribution schematic. Uh, how, like, what software are we going to use to build the power distribution schematic? And how does everything connect with each other? Like actually having to look through data sheets to see the, the loads of all of the power components and see like, you know, is this compatible with this? And can I do this? Am I allowed to do this? To realizing that there are more codes that like the NEIC codes that, you know, um, we should have uh, not we should have, um, since we're not power engineers, but like, you know, that we should have like a little bit of background to know when creating a one line diagram. That was definitely something new um, for us, uh, you know, to like throughout this this project. So I would definitely say that. I, yeah, to add on to what Rose was saying, along with just working as a team on the power schematics and developing the capital and operational budgets, just knowing which components connect to which and having to pretty much yeah find like how we're going to do that that whole process um was challenging fun the whole experience was a good experience i would say really appreciate your uh, your comments so any closing comments this project really like taught me a lot about like the foundations of like the internet and like the physical components that go into the internet and how everything connects together with each other. And just scaling out like big types of uh, uh, projects is really is really interesting to see how like everything connects together, like the app, then then the actual data center and then employing people and how the whole tech industry works as a whole. So it's really it's really eye opening. Especially in like communities that don't have that much internet access. Like so expanding out those expanding out to those kind of uh, places is really I really see like a need for that now. So it really opened my eyes to that. One final comment I'd like to add. It was kind of, I'm a people watcher. So it was kind of exciting just to see like where people find their happy place. So like listening to Kenna talk about like the different computers and hyper-converged systems and stuff. And a lot of stuff I pretty much had no clue about, but it's like more of the computer network and stuff. Like his face will light up. Watching Christian bring his like designs to life. Like I know you're tired. But at the same time, I could tell you get excited. And then just listening to like the mentors we call, like they're pretty much like super duper excited that we're <laughs> wanting to actually talk to them. And they're like, if you wanna, like if you need anything else, call me again. Bill, he was like a bright ball of energy just from his stories to, I don't know how he knows just about everything he knows, but he was able to always pull up random links for us. So it's just exciting to see people be excited about what they're doing. Thank you everybody for, everything and uh we'll see you next week to give us a debrief so take it easy man well, thank, thank you everybody you. thank you Keep in bye touch. everyone congratulations this is awesome